Hey everyone, my name is Neil and I build a lot of projects in my garage all year long. And there's a lot of work that happens long before I step foot in here, which is why my channel would be absolutely dead if I didn't have 3D modeling software. For my workflow, I chose Fusion 360 and I'm gonna be going over the reasons why. But we're gonna be going inside because it's way too hot in the garage today. Okay, so it's much cooler in here and now I can actually focus. What was I talking about? Ah oh, yes, the reasons why I decided to go with Fusion 360 over any other software. All right, so one thing I want to mention before I get started on the pluses and minuses is that all the softwares I'm going to name basically have a free version, but if you're going to be doing things like build plans, then you need to switch over to the paid version because basically they all have a clause in their terms and conditions that say, if you're going to be using this for commercial use, then you need to upgrade to a full license. You can't use the free stuff. First, for me, because I want to be able to do build plans, is the overall cost of Fusion 360 when compared to some other softwares that I want to use. So if I start at the top of the list, SolidWorks is great and it's my go-to, but it costs $3,000 for a professional license. And they do have a hobby version, but you're not allowed to make more than $2,000 on that per year. For Onshape, Onshape is a great option. It's by far my most favorite 3D modeling software. But the problem with Onshape is the license is $1,500 a year, whereas Fusion 360, which is the one that I chose, is $385 for the first time. And then I believe it's over a little over $500 for renewal after that. So between $500 for Fusion and $1,500 a year for Onshape, you have to see that's three times the cost. One more option that I had too that I was looking at was Shaper 3D. I absolutely loved using it on my iPad. I loved the ability to be able to take it from one place to the other. But at the end of the day, I needed to be able to use a parametric software. So with parametric modeling, I like the ability to be able to make one change and then have that change drive my entire uh, model. You can't do that when you're using a software like Shaper 3D. It just doesn't work that way. So Shaper 3D was out. And another one that's very popular for woodworkers is SketchUp. I personally did not like using SketchUp. I tried it out for about a week. I wanted to love it, but I just couldn't get into it. Again, it wasn't parametric enough for me and I need to be able to make changes quick. So that's no shade to anyone who's using Shaper. I just chose not to use it for my workflow. What I liked about Fusion 360 is that it allows me to make plans quickly. I can download multiple versions of Fusion on every single device that I have. So it's on my laptop. It can be on another computer, it could be on my phone as a light viewer. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to use multiple devices. So if I wanna take my laptop out to the garage, I can, or if I wanna use my desktop, I can. So that's one of the reasons why I liked using Fusion 360. It's also a pretty light 3D modeling software. It doesn't require a ton of RAM. I'm using a gaming PC, but it seems to be working fine. And then another reason is ultimately I wanna get a CNC. So it has the ability to run toolpath and do that type of work, which is another great reason why I wanted to go with it. And then third, it's kind of like middle of the road. It's not a basic 3D modeling software, and it's also not a super advanced 3D modeling software like Katia. So it's kind of middle of the road for the price and everything. It made sense for me to go with it. Another reason I decided to go with it is there are a lot of tutorials on Vision 360. They have a great blog website, and then they also have so many YouTube videos already existing. So I'm no stranger to 3D modeling. I've been 3D modeling for almost 20 years now, nonstop. And I'm very familiar with the tools, but obviously every single software works slightly differently. So you need to be able to find the commands quickly. And I wanted the ability to be able to type something in YouTube and then find what I need as far as a video and then continue on my workflow. Okay, so I've been using Fusion now for about eight months and I really like it. It's very easy to pick up. And also it's very good for what I'm doing. I'm just making woodworking projects. So I'm doing workbenches, tables, desk. I'm doing all those easy to moderate projects where they have anywhere from five parts to 20 parts, but usually nothing more than that. I'm not putting together an airplane or a motor or doing any type of advanced surfacing or modeling. It's just in part design. So Fusion is great for that. And like I said, for the price, it allows me to have a full 3D modeling software for less than 400 bucks a year, so I can't beat that. All right, so I just wanna go over the reasons why I chose to use Fusion 360 in my workflow. I personally cannot keep the channel going without using 3D modeling software. CAD is everything for me, and it's very easy for me to just hop in it, sketch something up, 
and then show it to someone and then get their feedback on it. Whereas if I were not doing that, it'd take me forever just to draw a line. I'm a terrible drawer, but I can model very quickly. Let me know what you use in your workflow, whether you use Fusion or whether you use SketchUp or whether you use Onshape and the reason why in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.